Hello and welcome to the National World War II Museum. My name is Tom Chikansky, Senior Curator, and I'm speaking to you from the Campaigns of Courage Pavilion, Road to Tokyo Gallery. Behind me is a P-40E, one of those pieces of hardware that the United States military had in its inventory before we began the war at Pearl Harbor. The P-40 first flew in 1938 and was built by the Curtis Wright Airplane Corporation of Buffalo, New York. Over 14,000 copies were produced. It was used as a pursuit plane and a ground attack plane. It was the third most produced plane of the war and was powered by an Allison V-12 water-cooled engine. The plane came with the variations of armament and was used by all of the Allies on all of the theaters of the war. It was particularly important in North Africa, the Mediterranean, and the Pacific. It could outturn the Zero and was very tough. The wing was built with five spars, which allowed it to take considerable punishment. The engine and cockpit were armored, and this allowed the pilot to make head-on attacks against his foe, much easier than trying to outturn them in dogfights. The P-40 was present at Pearl Harbor, and several managed to get airborne and shoot down Japanese planes during the attack. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again as we discuss more of the large artifacts in the collection of the National World War II Museum located in New Orleans, Louisiana.